hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so i haven't done a vlog in a very very long time excuse how tired i look it is currently 13 minutes past one in the afternoon it is currently a friday you should be seeing this sunday i'm hoping if everything goes to plan um so yeah welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome for those that are going to ask this is from boohoo so like their teddy bear jumper is so comfy and super warm um so so today's video as you can see from the title i am again going to be redoing my room like i think because of my job which i'm so grateful for i always need to up my storage now i'm getting to that point now where i'm like if I'm going to get to that stage where I have no longer any space, which I technically don't now, but I'll have no longer any space and I'll need to get my own place because I currently live at home with my family. Um, so yeah, which is okay. It's great right now, but obviously in the future, I'm going to have to think about where to go. But um, yeah, so I ordered some ward, like a the pack system. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, a lot of other influencers I've seen have got this. It was sort of relatively affordable. It did cost a little bit in the bank, but I think it's going to be totally worth it. I hope so. So I'm going to be boarding that for you guys. I'm just going to be like a little vlog for the next two days. I'm going to show you some PR. I'm going to, yeah. So today's plan is I'm going to unbox some PR and I'm going to wait for the IKEA order to come because it should be here in the next half an hour and i'm going to quickly shower um show you some of the orders that i have made um hopefully if they come one has from amazon which was a drill i know it sounds weird but i feel as if when i had my lot when i did my last little room thing i literally just used one screwdriver and it took me ages so i need a drill um and then i'm gonna move my room around show you and then hopefully maybe put some content in from tomorrow just to show you like my setup idea and whatnot so yeah let me know um i'll probably film tomorrow where i'm putting all the products into my drawers so i did get the pack system where it has like the drawers and like the clear drawer um i, I think i got two different size um wardrobe systems i bought two of them one was 75 centimeters and one was 58 or 50 centimeters um and they're gonna fit on my wall which is currently here this wall right here um and yeah, I'm going to put all of these prints up everywhere. So hopefully it's going to be decent. I'm sorry for the state that I'm in. So yeah, um, the next clip will probably be, I have no clue. Oh, we're going to do some PR unboxing. So stay tuned for that. For those that are going to ask me what I've been currently watching, I get this question all the time. I have been, uh, I have, I have been currently watching Bitten. I'm on series two. This is brilliant. I really, really like it. I love anything werewolf, vampire, witches. It's sort of my jam really, like anything like that. So definitely recommend this um pretty decent so yeah okay so i did get some pr recently um origins did kindly get in contact with me all of these products were given in pr this isn't paid this isn't sponsored i have no obligation to post um they just wanted me to try out some of their products as they saw me using their ginseng eye cream i think it's the ginseng eye cream um so yeah so we've got the origins out of trouble 10 minute mask right here which looks great um i can't wait to use this it's smaller than i expected but then that's cool it's just a mask we have the spf and um, the perfect world spf 40 age defense moisturizer i always love a moisturizer with spf even though like it's not ideal you probably just want an spf by itself but excuse my dry hands but yeah um, i wanted to try this out i wanted to try typical products that not everyone had had from origins because i am doing this thing now um where i want to be really indulging in my skincare um like i already do but a bit more deeper into brands and what products i'm putting on my skin and how effective they actually are and um, so i want to be testing out a whole load of brands it was really great that they reached out which i'm so grateful for we also have the origins check and balance frothy face wash um which i am excited to use um we then then got this which i actually didn't pick and um, they did kindly say to me like what would you like and i did have a few suggestions but i've i know this is one of their best sellers so i am excited to use this i think this one i actually might give to my mum um just because this is right up her alley but i'd still use it anyway this is the mega mushroom relief and resilience soothing treatment lotion um i think it's more of like an essency type thing like after a toner or a toner wise so yeah i'm excited to use that one and then one that i was really hoping for and i know a lot of you keep saying to me like how do you're only 20 why are you involved with anti-aging products because i'm 20 like it's i mean i live in a polluted city london and there's a ton of rays a ton of pollution i'm gonna age um 
so I don't mind I love the whole process of aging I think aging is beautiful but if I can slow it down I will try and um, so this is the anti-aging power serum I'm hoping this is going to be great because I know this stuff is expensive so yeah thank you origins I love the packaging I think it's very earthy something that I really really love anyway oh next is this huge parcel it came in the biggest box earlier and um, this morning this is from L'Oreal I had no idea who it was from until I saw these little goodies in there um I didn't really know I was on L'Oreal's type gifting not gifting but you know PR so I am really grateful um they literally hooked me up this is like the perfect picnic so we have here I think these are all new or newish or they're top sellers I'm not too too sure um or just like the skin paradise range so we have the Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream, SPF 20, decent. Um, I think we have two of these. So we have a tinted watery cream and then another tinted. What's the difference? They look literally the same, but one's got black, one's got white. Oh, light and medium. Probably the light one I'll end up gifting to my mum. She's fairer than me, um, so that would work. And then maybe, hopefully, I can use the medium. And then we, of course, have the Lash Paradise Intense Black Mascara. I think this is like a favourite for people. I haven't used it yet. And <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are going to probably say to me, what are you doing? How haven't you? But yeah, I love these little leaflets that they give, like the press sheets. I love that because I really indulge myself in learning what the brand stands for why they have brought out this product what value would it have to their line in general and then we they gifted me some really cute stuff so they gifted me a bottle of wine which i'm so grateful for these two cups oh my god are going to be divine like i'm literally going to use these in my hauls and i'm going to have them on top of on my shelf later on so just you wait and see how these work out Oh, and then they sent over this, which I had no idea what it was, and it smelled great. I was like, this can't be food. Like, this cannot be food, but it is. This is creme. I think this is like a, a cookie company. The box is everything. Like, I'm going to keep the box. Um, but it has these cookies inside, and I think there is like a whole... There is like literally like a whole manual of how to eat them or how to make them. So you warm them up. Um, they're made already. Like I'm guessing you could probably eat them. But they look incredible. How yummy do these look? Oh my god. They literally smell. Oh my god, that literally smells divine. So we have five in it. Oh my god, that's so cute. I forgot five. No, we have six six and they're all gonna be mine um i'll probably have to give my mum one bless her but yeah um that is what i am literally like dreaming of so once i've done my room i'm gonna treat myself to one of those i've got to eat them quick obviously because otherwise the brothers will get them anyway um and then we have this which i am in love with I am absolutely in love with this is the cute baby pink this is going to look so cute in my room I want to get a chair hopefully in the future but I just don't know um if I've got the room for it yet so obviously I'm going to see what my room is saying once I've done it and then obviously let you guys know and probably get a chair but this is like a cute blanket thing from John Lewis now John Lewis always has great quality so thank you so much Laura I know you're not watching this but thank you so much oh and this is the cutest bag like this would be a bag I'd take on holiday or if I was going to the beach or yeah I just think it's cute man of I'm so appreciative of all these things like I let me turn you around for once I did not expect my life to get like this. I was always so grateful anytime I get PR, but unexpected little packages like this are so nice. Like, I feel valued. I know that sounds ridiculous, but yeah. Oh, this guy I'm actually still going to keep. Now, I don't know what I'm going to put in there, so I'm going to show you in a minute how I'm going to have everything and what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Also, that just came in the mail was this Amazon parcel. I've been waiting for this for the longest time. This is the Tino Lithium Rechargeable Drill Set. Um, I needed one of these. You know, I just, I just don't know. Like, I just needed something like this because um, it's about time. Like, my, my house doesn't have a drill. I don't know why, because we don't really put stuff on the walls or build things or anything like that. I just usually use a screwdriver. However my hands normally kill me because of my condition so i need a drill now and obviously i'll probably get a manly man to do it but um not much i can have to do it myself but it comes with quite a few pieces like it comes with screwdriver it comes with loads of stuff like a little tape measure tape lithium batteries just the whole set really i think this was around 50 pounds and from what my partner researched up um he's very into all that handy dandy stuff he wouldn't make me buy anything rubbish um it looked pretty decent so i ordered it i had like a 
Amazon gift card, but I spent like 18 pounds on this. But I think this costs about 59 pounds hit or miss. I can't actually remember, but I'll link it in the description anyway because this is great. I'll let you know once I've started building things whether it's all worth it. But yeah, this is the little toolbox that came with it, which looks oh, which looks great. And then lastly for the day, we have some little bits from Pop Beauty. Um, I don't actually use this brand too, too much. I do really like their products, but I haven't um, much. I think this is the sister brand to Pixie. So we have the Makeup Magnet uh, Mist. Magnet Magnet. Why did I say it like that? Magnet Mist. We have this um, Prismatic Pop highlighter i think illuminating powder i don't really get the difference between illuminating highlighting i just call it highlighting um, and then we have this eyeshadow palette which looks really cute the colors look super duper cute in there i love these like berry cranberry tones a pop of green these little things here look so interesting so yeah i'm excited to use that so you may or may not have remembered i did a uh, primark haul recently because primark opened and i grabbed some black slippers however my partner ended up taking them, I knew he would, so I actually went back into Primark the other day and I saw these, the grey ones, these are in a size medium, they're £4, these are lush, like I love them, they're super duper comfy, probably the comfiest slippers I've ever worn in my life, love them, I got them in a size medium, they are um, £4, like I said, definitely a bargain, I know um, Primark do great slippers, so yeah, these ones are definitely lovely, they've got memory foam, so... Oh, I'm a massive fan of these. Okay, so my room is currently in a state. However, like I think you guys know already, these are my skincare shelves I have. This one I am keeping. I just like it. It's slim. I can fit quite a bit in there. This I love, obviously. This is my recent purchase. However, I'm not getting rid of this. This is just going in my living room. My mum's going to use it as a bookshelf and so forth. So yeah, this is going to be going in the living room. I think that'd be really, really lovely. The plan is to have both of the tall wardrobes here. Obviously, I'm going to take all this. Down. I really, really like these prints. Do you prefer these ones or do you prefer the white ones? Black, white, black, white. I personally love them both. I just thought the black would give a bit of colour to the room because my room is literally just so, like, white. Um, this is going to be kept as well, however. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet because the drawers that I have are going to fit all my makeup in. So, yeah, I just love these. I just think they're great to have just in case, like, just to bung things in. You know when you just want to bung things in? So, yeah. I was originally looking for a table that was smaller than the one that I currently have here. Um, but sadly I wasn't able to find one I just wanted something a bit shorter and a bit thinner but obviously because I've got Alex drawers which are down there um, connected to it I can't sorry I don't know why I have you always put that down there but yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a quick shower I'm going to get some content created for you guys because it's Friday I haven't got today's content ready I've got to do like some work paid work as well so i've got to get that all done and dusted for my team and myself okay so i have just done my makeup for the day i'm gonna edit it quickly um i just i literally for the time being like i have been loving filming on my phone um my full face tutorials on my phone just because one it's quick and easy hello little curl and i love filming like my eyeshadow videos on my camera um i do like my camera but to be honest i am a massive fan of the quality of my phone a lot of you guys have said that also so i'm like yeah um i have the ikea stuff has arrived um which we call i'll show you that in a minute i haven't done it yet um they there are 18 boxes i believe so i'm just thinking how the hell am i gonna do all of that but i'll get through it um so yeah place of the tip i'm gonna quickly edit i have already eaten not much to do today also oh i forgot to mention i purchased this from amazon you can get it on amazon um i bought the caroline hirons skincare book this is incredible it is incredible i have nearly finished it um i've had it a few days and i just cannot seem to put it down i have gained so much knowledge as you guys know i want to start focusing a lot of my channel on skincare as i already do on my instagram because I, I get a lot of questions and so yeah so i'm trying to i've been investing in like loads of kids skincare i've been just spending all my saved hard-earned money um i've literally done uh, a yes style haul um which will be up soon it should be getting delivered tomorrow it's supposed to be getting delivered the other day but it didn't and i spent like well over 100 pounds now it doesn't seem like a lot but i bought like 20 skincare items do i need 20 skincare items probably not but i wanted to try out different brands um so yeah and i do want to start decluttering i know i keep decluttering but it's all about like 
bringing out what's expired and bringing in new stuff not trying new stuff obviously when i've got other stuff going on but yeah um i get i actually reasons weirdly i actually get through things quite quickly like i'm not the type to just stick to one set like i obviously i am in some ways like a few weeks i'll stick to one routine and then a few weeks i'll stick to another routine but yeah like i really really recommend the skincare book if you're just into absolutely skincare anything to do with that about how to cleanse your skin about what's the right products for your skin about your night routine your day routine about spf which is so important and um, but yeah um also follow my tiktok because i want to start doing like skincare tiktok things as well um but yeah what have i got to do now oh i gotta show you a new unboxing that i've just got i've just got this parcel in the mail this is from uh the ordinary which is amazing um my management kindly reached out to them and they were happy really happy to send me some stuff which i'm so grateful for and they sent me a lovely little note i love when brands do this it's like the sweetest thing ever and we have i didn't even anticipate that i didn't even expect this much but i'm so super grateful for it um we've got some of you guys favorites so we have here the glycolic acid seven percent toning solution i've actually already tried this years ago but i'm glad i've got it again now we have the squalane or squalene cleanser um which is great um i can't wait to use this one we then have the salicylic acid two percent mask which is a mask i've been wanting to use for the longest time i've seen this but every time i try to grab it it's sold out do apologize for my dry hands i am over the moon about this um we then have the natural moisturizing factors and ha i cannot wait to use this also because i know a lot of you guys have been raving about this and i want to give my opinion on the ordinary now the last product from the ordinary itself is the niacinamide 10% and zinc i love this anything niacinamide i scream about i absolutely love niacinamide so i am super chuffed about that if it's going to focus are you going to focus yeah now we have something from noid which i know is i know dyson have their own brand but i'm not oh oh so this is a multi molecular hyaluronic complex this looks very interesting I cannot wait to dive in on this one. I'll open this up in a second and show you what it looks like. And then I think this is a new brand to them. I don't know. I am quite invested in skincare. However, these I have not seen before. So this is Hylamide. Um, this is the brand Hylamide. So this here is the um, Sub-Q Eyes Advanced Serum. This looks great. For visible correction of signs of under eye aging, puffiness and dark circles. I love the packaging. It just screams like lab vibes, chemistry vibes. Why does my camera never focus, man? Um, but anyway, we then have this guy, which is the C25, which apparently is a great derivative of vitamin C, which is great for brightening. So I'm excited to use this one. And then lastly, we have the Hydro Density Mist. Now, I'm not really a mist person, but sometimes I like to put a mist if I don't want to do a toner. So a multi... Oh, sometimes I want to... I do a mist so I don't, like, have to do a toner. So this is the Hydro Density Mist Multi-Depth Toning Treatment. Okay, so yeah, this is like a mist toner thing. So yeah, thank you so much, Dyson. I know, or like The Ordinary. I know they're probably not watching this, but I am super grateful. I right now have nowhere to put this, but I will find the space. So yeah, really, really grateful. Super excited. Okay, so I've taken everything off of these three shelves and I put them in this big, huge box that I got this morning. Um, just because it's a little bit easier to work with. And then this is going to be so heavy to carry in and out of my room but obviously this is all my skincare bits are going to go in the drawers and um, just so we start making space so i can move this out of here and put it in my living room so yeah this is going to be my mum's bookshelf for her this will be for her to use so yeah i'm excited for that i was thinking about maybe i could fit all of this in the box but i don't think i have space so yeah, that's all gonna have to stay for now. Okay, so currently this is what we have. Um, about an hour later now, I have now completed one of them. Obviously I've got to do the drawers, which I'll do in a minute, but I didn't realize how big these were. I'm gonna be able to fit so much stuff in here, which I'm so excited about. This is all clear. I've got to now hoover, move my room around and then build the other one. It didn't take as long. It's just, I, you know when you make some silly mistakes because IKEA instructions are just, they're all right, but they're not the greatest. See, I've got to take all of that down unless there's a plate and a pillow. But yeah, I've got to move the bed over here. That whole room needs a, like a mop, a, a hoover. So yeah. Okay, so it's actually Saturday today. Um, I did try to get a lot done. Um, there was so much, like it wasn't just the, the 
wardrobe system which I'll show you in a second it was literally my bed my room it was I did not anticipate how much stuff I had um I actually bruised myself now I didn't even <laughs> realize I had done that but this I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you all that hard work like I'm telling you the bruises that I have found on myself guys it is like terrible like it only shows you how i've been putting in hard work um so yeah it's currently saturday it's about 11 o'clock i'm gonna get on with the day i was shattered last night i literally like went to bed two in the morning just everything is everywhere like my life is literally just everywhere um i didn't anticipate i didn't think this would take me up this long i thought it'd just be yeah but not like the drawers like the drawers are really really easy to like put up but they just take ages to put, not the ages to put together but it's like one after the other and I'm putting 13 together so I'm on my third one currently hopefully I can get it done in the next two to two and a half hours which will be cool and then yeah and then I'm gonna have to create content I'm hoping if not I'm just gonna repost some of like my favorite oh, I'm tired. So my favourite looks and then get you guys to go, yeah, which one do you guys prefer? So that'd be a cute little video. Maybe I should start doing those for the days that I'm like creating content. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I shall update you in. Oh, let me show you. The, let me show you the system. Right. So excuse the plate and cup. This is what it's looking like. It was originally, it fits perfectly for where I needed to go. However, I'm thinking because of where my table needs to go and obviously my bed pulls out. So it comes out to about there oh hello feet it comes out to about there um so i've got no space and obviously this couldn't be turned oh i don't i don't know i can't explain it but yeah um oh excuse the trousers but, uh, do you know what my life's a mess right please don't judge me but yeah so these are gonna have to go here and then this table my work table is gonna go there but i also bought this plant and i'm obsessed with it if it's gonna focus are you gonna focus yeah this plant here it was only six pounds i really really like it um i need to add a little bit more femininity and not so much work into my room so i thought this would be a nice little touch to the bedroom so yeah okay so currently this is how everything is looking so i have my skincare shelf here and then i have the two shelves which i have already built i'm such a fan of them they're huge i love them i definitely feel i'm gonna get what I need to get from them um, and some space and I got two shelves here so I can put some like cute PR stuff and that I didn't realize how big these were going to be they're huge so I'm really happy about that and luckily I was able to fit my little Alex drawers there which I'm so excited about I love that so yeah this is how the storage is looking I'm then going to put my table here to do my work and I've got my bed and then everything is an absolute mess I'm sorry that's my table over there and yeah so I'm quite happy with it all really i will show you in a minute how everything is I'm, i was going to do a speed up time lapse of me putting everything in however i don't know how i want it yet so but yeah i'll come back in a little while so everything that was in that big box before like i showed you is now put on the bed and i'm going to start putting them away in these drawers i'm not going to do a time lapse for you just because for me personally there's no point because i'll stop and start stop and start this section is going to be my skincare. I'm going to have more skincare and hair care in here and some bits of makeup. This is going to be my makeup one. And obviously, of course, if I want to add more drawers, I can just do that. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead now and put things away. And then I'll show you what it looks like once all the skincare is in. So I am halfway finished my room. I just thought I'd stop and I've, I'm now currently having a Chinese. I ordered myself a Chinese. I thought, you know what? Like, I've not ordered to take away by myself in a long time. It's always just been me and my, my family and whatnot. But I thought... Why not just treat myself? So I did, I just got like sweet and sour chicken, a bit of rice, spring rolls, and then I do have a little cheeky glass of lemonade. I was gonna have wine, but I couldn't open the bottle. Like I am terrified of popping a bottle, like the whole pop, it, I don't know what it is. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy that now. I'm gonna watch some more Bitten for those that, if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it um i've nearly finished it <laughs> i started it three days ago and i've nearly finished it and i'm on season three nearly finished that i don't know how many seasons there are but yeah everything is coming along pretty well i wish everything is coming along everything is coming along pretty well i will show you everything when i've eaten but yeah i hope this vlog is good enough not good enough but i hope it's okay just because i know a lot of people other people's vlogs are like really informative and whatnot oh question I don't know whether that will be filled up by now, but what should I put in this? Like, this used to be my skincare shelf, but I managed to get everything with space, um, with two drawers extra, and, um, like, 
there's so much space in each of the drawers like I just don't know maybe I should just clear that put like maybe a pair of shoes or a nice bag and then when I start filling up more skincare I then put it in there does that make sense do, should I do that I don't know but yeah I'm gonna enjoy my food now and then I will be back so that is everything that we have going on and I have my candle and whatnot and obviously I'll show you this on another day I've got my like dustpan and brush there my Netflix which is going on so yeah so far I am heavily heavily loving what it's looking like my setup's gonna look really cute I just need to develop this area of course and see what's gonna go on here but yeah I'm really really happy with them I'm so totally obsessed with them I love it um, and then obviously I have my bed and my new frames do you prefer the black ones these ones or do you prefer the white ones should I keep the white ones here because it's all white or should I add a little bit of black or should I put the white ones here and then put the black ones over there let me know and yeah so so I think that is absolutely everything um it is currently a Saturday and it is 10 past 11 which is great so um i'm gonna probably chill out watch some netflix i'm gonna try on some clothes because i did do a shein order and i'm hopefully let me just get into a comfortable space on my bed um i did do a shein order and that came um i'm waiting for my yes style order and they did something funky with me i think i might have explained it yesterday i don't know but i basically ordered um and then they said they tried to deliver but they didn't you know when the royal mail they just they, you know when they're just a bit cheeky the, the postman the postman was a bit cheeky said he delivered one day didn't apparently weren't in didn't leave something for you card then said they delivered the next day tried again no they didn't um i'm wondering if, if it had a custom charge it would have sent a note through so yeah so what I'm, i don't have a tracking number i have a tracking number i don't have a reference number so i booked a re-delivery bearing in mind i didn't have a card so i'm now having to go over i have no idea what i've done i don't know if i've messed my situation up i don't know whether to just go to the like the collection point at post office and write down my tracking number for the package write down my re-delivery reference number and my name and ask them where it is because i didn't get a f something for you card but i'm guessing this happens a lot so i'm hoping they probably know how to deal with it let me know if you guys have any idea how to help um yeah so by the time that this goes up this should be up tomorrow so sunday so yeah so i really really oh, I keep saying so i need to stop saying that word but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if this was something to your liking i would have showed you more like this like the speed up clicks and whatnot but what i've just been here for ages and i didn't want to keep charging my battery and i just thought it's not really going to be too exciting for you so i left it out um but yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Let me know if you just want me to do like a room tour or a proper like makeup in depth or I don't know, any video. So yeah, um, I'm really glad I've done this now because I have been stressing out space for the longest time. One minute I buy a shelf and it's like, yeah, space. And then the next day it's like, no more space. So no more space. But that's how it goes. I'm grateful for my job and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some sleep in a little while. Thank you for watching this video. I look in absolute state, but I love how you guys don't judge me. Um, and I'm happy to look like this for you because this is just me on an everyday basis. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've said that three times now. Please like and comment and subscribe and share with your friends. Um, and yeah, I shall see you in my next one. Bye. Did I do a kiss on my back of my hand? Anyway. Mwah. Okay, so this is this is how everything is looking. I was able to get everything out of these drawers and over here, but I have put some stuff over here just for the time but that's the flash up there but yeah this is how most of it is looking i am so excited um, so we have here we have first off is the little plant that i showed you um this is from ikea like i told you i think it was like six pounds i really really love it i have this which was gifted to me by forio um but i'm not sure it had a picture of me in there but i'm not sure if i like what i'm going to do with it i also have like a candle my key glasses vaseline another candle by joe malone which was gifted to me from my management my amazing management i love them so much this smells incredible and um, we then have my two speakers around the back and then we move to this set of drawers here so in the first drawer we have my all my sheet masks yeah i like sheet masks to be honest they're a little bit like pointless like they're not going to do amazing for your skin it's basically like serum with the sheet on top that just sits on your skin um and then in this one these are empty most of these are empty until we get to this one which is like just my hair drawers so i have my hair gel my hair brushes 
this once my hair stuff isn't out and messy and then we have all my nail stuff and then the bottom two are just random stuff so the bottom one is like products i haven't tried yet so i need to like it's more some of them i have tried but products that i need to delve into more like when i've done all my videos and then this is just a random drawer that has like my light bulb and things like that in there um then we move on to this guy again i would love your ideas on what i should put here i've got my skincare book my cookies and then i've got some paid work content that needs to be from here and then i have my two little just skincare tools and a mask remember guys to keep safe this is my skincare section right here i have tons of space going on so the first drawer is cleansers and toners i have tons of space and i'm so glad that i have tons of space like you guys do not understand obviously i could lay these flat like for the time being but i chose not to and they're not it's not too hand like too risky of it all tumbling over but if you push it in it stops and then it retracts in i love it so then you're not actually like you could shove it in and it's not going to damage the actual drawers the next drawer is all serums so i need to bring these all forward can I be bothered? No. This was so much cleaner yesterday, but I knew already it was going to get messy. Do I really mind? No, not really. But yeah, this is just my serum and eyes drawer, like my eye products, serums, and then a few lip products at the back. And then in here, we have all of my day and night moisturizers and also my SPFs. So we have my SPFs around here, night moisturizers back there, sprays, and then day moisturizers. We then have in here all of my masks, which I love. Um, I didn't realise that I did actually do declutter like I told you, but yeah, I have mainly all my masks in here. I then, in this one, have my exfoliating products and then my micellar water and like cleansing balms just because i didn't want to this was like cleansing balms would be my first step of my cleanse after i've used my micellar water to take my makeup off and then this last bottom drawer is actually free which is amazing and i can fit so much in the rest of them when i end up getting more products now we move to this guy which is my makeup so we have my lip products up here i've got some more lip products stuff i don't know how i want this setup to be i was going to keep my pr boxes ages ago but stupidly i didn't realize i was going to be doing this whole like scenario so i would have kept them and then put them up there which was really, really nice i just have all my tanning products up there first drawer i love how this looks i think it's divine i have all my foundations but if i open this up these drawers are huge they are mahoosive um so around the back we have my setting sprays and some primers we then have my primers in the middle just because i tend to have quite a few primers so i just thought i'd lay them down and then all across here all the way across here i have all my foundations and i have done some decluttering videos on my makeup collection so please feel free to um go into the description and click onto those videos that i will attach and then in here the first drawer the second drawer we have my concealers and we have my setting powders you can see how much space there is left and i'm so excited for that because now i know that i can just end up bulking up on things that are unnecessary we then in here have my bronzers and blushes so we just have a mix we have my palettes that are all stacked here then we have like my creams and liquids and then we have my powders that are just scattered everywhere next we have all my highlighters now i did actually bring all of my one drawer of highlighters into here as you can see there's tons of space now even around the back so i'm really really excited and proud of that and then the last drawer i think yeah because i've got two three drawers here is my eyeshadows um i know a lot of you guys are going to be going mad over this i love how this looks i have like my main everyday palettes my abh Huda beauty color pop fenty and then my everyday like drugstore whatnot i don't really use these as much this is my more useful section then under here i have my morphe palette anastasia beverly hills palette under there um norvina minis the she glam palettes which are absolutely amazing i did some, do some paid work with them but the quality is insane Huda beauty products again and these are the palette like i'm glad i've got these now in the same drawer as these because then i'll know i'll gravitate towards them a lot but yeah that's just my eyeshadow palette drawer i know i have a lot guys i am not bragging in any way shape or form this is my job so i have to sort of be like this and then over here i just have stuff that i don't know what to do with this year i think i mentioned earlier i don't know what i'm going to do with it that's just my deodorants foot cream daily essentials i have some champagne and glasses um, and then i have like my skincare tools which i don't know where i'm going to put those yet and then down here i have my two hair sections so i have my treat and mask and then i have my wash and then like style so yeah that is basically everything here 
so that is everything that we have going on and I have my candle and whatnot and obviously I'll show you this on another day I've got my like dustpan and brush there my Netflix which is going on so yeah so far I am heavily heavily loving what it's looking like my setup's gonna look really cute I just need to develop this area of course and see what's gonna go on here but yeah I'm really really happy with them I'm so totally obsessed with them I love it um, and then obviously I have my bed and my new frames do you prefer the black ones these ones or do you prefer the white ones should I keep the white ones here because it's all white or should I add a little bit of black or should I put the white ones here and then put the black ones over there let me know so I think that is absolutely everything um, it is currently a Saturday and it is 10 past 11 which is great so um, I'm going to probably chill out watch some Netflix I'm going to try on some clothes because I did do a Shein order and I'm hopefully, let me just get into a comfortable space on my bed. Um, I did do a Shein order and that came. Um, I'm waiting for my Yesda order and they did something funky with me. I think I might have explained it yesterday, I don't know. But I basically ordered um, and then they said they tried to deliver but they didn't. You know when the Royal Mail, they just, they, you know when they're just a bit cheeky, the, the postman. The postman was a bit cheeky. Said he delivered one day, didn't, apparently weren't in. Didn't leave something for you card. Then said they delivered the next day, tried again. No, they didn't. Um, I'm wondering if, if it had a custom charge, it would have sent a note through. So, yeah, so what? I don't have a tracking number. I have a tracking number. I don't have a reference number. So I booked a re delivery. Bearing in mind, I didn't have a card. So I'm now having to go over. I have no idea what I've done. I don't know if I've messed my situation up. I don't know whether to just go to the, like, the collection point at the post office and write down my tracking number for the package write down my re-delivery reference number and my name and ask them where it is because i didn't get a something for you card but i'm guessing this happens a lot so i'm hoping they probably know how to deal with it let me know if you guys have any idea how to help um yeah so by the time that this goes up this should be up tomorrow so sunday so yeah so i really really oh, I keep saying, so i need to stop saying that word but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if this was something like, to your liking i would have showed you more like this like the speed up clicks and whatnot but what i've just been here for ages and i didn't want to keep charging my battery and i just thought it's not really going to be too exciting for you so i left it out um but yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Let me know if you just want me to do like a room tour or a proper like makeup in depth or I don't know, any video. So yeah, um, I'm really glad I've done this now because I have been stressing out space for the longest time. One minute I buy a shelf and it's like, yeah, space. And then the next day it's like, no more space. So no more space. But that's how it goes. I'm grateful for my job and things like that. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some sleep in a little while. Thank you for watching this video. I look in absolute state, but I love how you guys don't judge me. Um, and I'm happy to look like this for you because this is just me on an everyday basis. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've said that three times now. Please like and comment and subscribe and share with your friends. Um, and yeah, I shall see you in my next one. Bye. Did I do a kiss on my back of my hand? Anyway. Mwah.